Hello, I'm Tim Sandal and I'm back with you with another of the uh, best practices video. And if you remember, these videos are going to go on for no longer than five minutes. They're only going to focus on one subject and I'll make no more than three key points. OK, so today's subject is clean room wipes, the uh, humble wipe that you use to disinfect surfaces, filling machines and um, so on. So the first point I'd like to make is that wiping is more effective than spraying. And this is because the physical activity of wiping uh, helps to pull up particles from the surface, capture them and remove them. And also the wipes that we use are specially designed to attract more particles from surfaces, particularly fine particles, which are particles that are less than 10 microns in size. Second thing is that where you can, it's always best to use a pre-saturated wipe rather than a dry wipe and a disinfection spray. And this is because the amount of disinfectant in the wipe is controlled and it's optimal, designed for consistent kill of microbes. The second thing is, is that the pre-saturated wipes contain the right chemicals, which are designed to lower the surface tension, allowing particles to be pulled up and captured from the surface. It also stands that our wipes are low particle shedding, which means that we're not putting more particles onto the surface that we're trying to clean. It also stands with the uh, hydrogen peroxide wipes, the steriperox wipes, is that these are much safer to use and there aren't the same health and safety concerns that there is with disinfectant in a bucket, uh, like when you're mopping, where the occupation and exposure levels are far greater. OK, the third and my last point is that you must use wipes consistently. So there are some do's and don'ts with wipes. So the first thing is that you've always got to wipe in one direction. The second thing is, is that when you wipe and you get to the end of the stroke, you've got to use what's called the lift and pull technique. So you go all the way along and then you get to the end and you're lifting that wipe up because you're taking away anything that you've wiped up. Otherwise, you're going to leave it on the edge of the surface. Next thing is that as you wipe, you need to overlap. So your strokes need to be overlapping to avoid missing out anything in, in, in between the strokes. It's always important to um, work from the dirtiest area backwards or from top to bottom or from back to front. And that's to avoid cross contamination. It's also important to use the fourfold wipe technique. So when you take a, a wipe, you fold it once, so it's like that, and you fold it again. And this gives you eight clean surfaces to use for every stroke. It also enables you to give um, um, even pressure as you wipe, and uh, as well as getting the eight uses, you're avoiding um, using the same surface of the wipe more than once. Now, a stroke is a maximum of 10 wipe lengths. So you've got your size of your wipe, and as you stroke going along the surface, you get to about where it would be 10 wipes, then you stop and you flip over the surface, and you use the clean side, and you keep going until you've used all eight goes. Okay, well, that's it. Coming in just under five minutes. Keep on doing a good job. And until next time, I'll be back with you with another five minutes with Tim learning video. And uh, good luck with the rest of your shift. Goodbye.